Welcome to this video tutorial on how to put all the low voltage wiring into your house. By low voltage I mean of course data, uh, TV, that's RF, cables and audio for your home theatre. This is Shane. Shane's my expert, my TV3 mate. How's it going? Good, good. Very good. So the basic idea is that we're going to wire uh, wires for the computer and that's data and also uh, for RF, which is for TV, um, from this central location here uh, at a data hub all the way individually in a star formation to everywhere in the house. Isn't that right, Shane? Yeah, that's good. Shane's first job is to drill massive holes all through the house made a bit of a plan for how the wires are going to get from the data hub to every room and it involves some big channels. The job Shane's given me is to uh, screw all these little um, plastic boxes into the wall. See them there? Um, what the idea is that the tables come through the walls, poke out there, and they put a faceplate on there and then you can plug your computer into that box right there like that. So um, I've got a stick here to measure them. It's got to be the right height. There they are, 300 mils off the ground. If somehow I was to get that wrong uh, and the boxes didn't line up with the plug boxes that the Sparky has put in, Gemma would kill me. That's a clever system. Put it on a roller. <laughs> How many wires will we have coming out of this um, box? Yeah. We'll have probably about 20, 20 datas and about 12 um, RF. First step of doing a data run is take a cable out of the box, you thread it up, and you're going to make a double length of it, is that right? Yep, I double it up so that we don't have to run double twice. So you've looped it back yep. from the box up through the hole and you loop it back and while you're tying it off there. So that it doesn't come back so you don't pull this end back through the hole. Now we'll just pull out the box to get a rough estimate of how much length we need. What are the rules, Shane? What do you have to be careful of? Uh, power. You just got to keep, keep the cables away from power. That's the most important thing. When there's power going through a cable, uh, it gives off a kind of a magnetic um, field, and it can affect your data it, um, and give you interference on your um, RF as well. Um, yeah, and make your runs quite neat and tidy. You don't want them crisscrossing all over the place, so that it makes it harder for um, the electrician and your builder. Marking the cables so that uh, we can identify where they're going later. And then we um, start um, fitting off, let you know where everything's going. Putting this uh, audio cables in from over the way over on the side, that's where the amplifier is going to be for the um, TV and everything, but we're also going to be able to play music into the kitchen and outside. So we're going to connect the wire from there through the ceiling to the spots where the speakers are. What goes in the box here? All your data connections, all your pitch panels, um, as well as your modem and your phone system. Basically, your your, your data, uh, how you talk to the outside world, will come through here. So, um, be good. Unfortunately, builders sometimes lose all your cabling. So. This is my way of proving there was a cable and know where all the cables are. Okay, what we do is we wait till um, the insulation's gone in, 
the lining's gone up once it's all signed off, painted and plastered. And then once we do that, we count up all the plates and, and we check what cables are coming through them. And then you, you write, we'll make a list and then um, we'll buy the correct plate with the correct outlets on it. So for each of the um, flush boxes that we put into place. For the hub, we'll buy a um, patch panel and we'll buy splitters and um, we'll probably have to buy a phone module for the um, for the DSL splitter and then um, yeah, should be all go from there. Cool. So we're all good. Yeah. Excellent. And it's done, it's taken us, we started what, about 10 o'clock and finished about 4, four so. Yeah. Six hours. Six Three hours to wire a house for low voltage. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. I would say don't try this at home, but do try it at home. <laughs> it would be the perfect place to try it. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Shane. Thanks. <laughs>